All right, today we are going to be giving you a driving tour of uh, two communities I really like. This is the Estates and Claremont. This is in Rockland, California. Uh, two highly sought after neighborhoods. Make sure to stay to the end so you can see Claremont. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Uh, houses a little bit larger, tucked back, um, some large lots. Uh, but the Estates is uh, is basically surrounding Granite Oaks Middle School. So Granite Oaks Middle School will be walking distance from this neighborhood. So if you have kids that are going to middle school or are going to in the future, this is a great neighborhood. Uh, I, I do love the entrance I came in at, several courts. You have houses built in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, as, as big as 4,000 square feet. And so you're going to have, you know, some ranges and prices here because as we get deeper into this community, you're going to see um, the exterior change. So you'll go from stucco to uh, you'll have some lap siding and some uh, and then you'll see instead of tile roofs, you'll see some composition shingle roofs, totally normal for this area. But as you go a little bit deeper in, it's just the older part of the community. They were those were built in the 80s. Um, not all of them, but some of them. But family-friendly neighborhood. This is this is actually just, I would say, what west of Whitney Oaks. So if you are interested in a luxury upscale community uh, with custom, semi-custom homes, and you love golf, Whitney Oaks would be a great course, uh, a great uh, subdivision or area to check out. So this is not gated though, unlike Whitney Oaks. Uh, and as we come over here, you can see houses are going to range from about where well, I'm Stewart now, right? Yeah, so houses are going to range uh, from about you know 1,500 square feet upwards of 4,000 uh, 4, square feet. Uh, these are going to be a little bit smaller, and the the prices are going to are going to be you know starting somewhere in the 600s, middle 650s. And uh, in this neighborhood, they probably go as high as 950 or so. Uh, in, in, the, in the really nice, you know, houses over 3,000 square feet in a court with a large lot with a pool, those will go in the upper nines potentially. And then uh, as we come out of this neighborhood and get into Claremont, there's there's uh, definitely some higher end. I mean, you go as high as 1.5. I think I've seen houses sell for in this area, but. This is tucked back at the end. This is kind of that main road. Uh, Wickford hits Granite Oaks. So Granite Oaks is behind us, the middle school. And I'm gonna keep driving here and get into the Claremont area. One of the things I really love about uh, this small little area of homes is uh, they have kind of a nice little walking trail through it. It just, it just to me has a lot of character. You'll notice as we as we head into that neighborhood, it just feels different. Uh, at least for me, that is. Doing some road work here, so let's see if we can get past this. Good, they let us go. Almost there. All the way deep, the back of the street, you can see the big C there. To the left, there's a trail that people will walk up the hill. Uh, and as we enter into this neighborhood, um, most of these houses are bigger. There are some good size, one story, one stories, and you have some green belts kind of intertwined in the area. And there are some houses with some green belt lots. You could get back in here and I believe Signature Homes built these. And there are um, a few different types of homes, but the ones I like are the deepest of the deep, um, real good size and, uh, and good size lots. So you can see the elevations a little bit different, you have a kind of different style of homes, they don't all look exactly the same. You know, cookie cutter, we are still doing some work on the street. So let's continue over here. 
White Streets, no HOA, you do have a little bit of Melaroos. And getting back deep in here, this is an area I'm talking about that I like. Look at this just beautiful area you can walk. Huge stone uh, that's been there for a long time. So you come back in here, and just imagine, you know, kids riding bikes or having block parties for the 4th of July. Just a great tucked back space in here uh, and backs up, backs up to a nice green belt area. Some of these, like these ones right here on the right, they have a huge um, hill behind them, but they, some of them have built you know, stairways going up, vineyards, and they have some a nice area where you can you can go, you know, watch the sunrise or the sunset. But uh, yeah, this is one of those communities I I really like. Houses don't come up as often in this one, but it's tucked back enough. You're still ten, you're still ten fifteen minutes away from everything you could possibly need, so it's still close. But it's a real secluded neighborhood in my in my opinion. So this is one you should check out. There are other neighborhoods close by that would be comparable to this. Uh, Azalea and Crest Lake Springs would be two neighborhoods that come to mind. Uh, maybe not quite on this level, in my opinion. That reason I favorite that back in there. The big hills behind and huge yards, right? So those are the ones that can be pretty pricey. Uh, but yeah, so Azalea, Crest Lake Springs, uh, Rock Creek would be a good option. Whitney Ranch uh, would be a little bit newer than this, but would be another one. Uh, the yards might not be as big in some cases, and the pricing is a little bit more. Whitney Ranch, just being a master plan community with a clubhouse and all that good stuff. Those are some other areas that I would check out. As you notice, in Rockland, it's just a little bit harder to get acreage there's a few communities that do have acreage you can check out my clover valley uh, neighborhood tour you can check that out um, there are a few other small communities that have some forms of acreage but sometimes you can find houses in these neighborhoods that are kind of in the back of the green belt that have a really really large oversized lot uh, and you will see them sometimes but uh, not always there there are some kids i knew we'd see some kids eventually and some basketball yeah so should you have any questions about uh, Claremont or the estates um, feel free to just shoot me a call or a text I do have clients in these neighborhoods so um, if you want to get in these neighborhoods uh, some of my clients you know are moving or doing different things at, at different times so sometimes I'm able to connect people moving to the area with with my clients. It happens every now and again. But yeah, love the area. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If there's any areas in Rockland that you're curious about uh, or surrounding areas, any Placer, Sacramento, or the Valley County uh, neighborhoods, be happy to tour them for you or give you a city tour when you come out here. So uh, I, uh, my name is Brandon Leon, and I will see you next time.